Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to vlog week three. I can't believe we're actually on week three. This is amazing. Um, this morning, my lips are really bruised, which I'm really surprised about. The swelling has gone down significantly, and we're just in a cafe called Six Teas, um, which is down in Rockstore. I love this cafe. It's um, got a real 60s theme, um, and yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of brekkie and preparing ourselves for a big day of watching one bit. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna have. Okay, I'm now in Asda, and I'm just like getting a few bits and bobs, and I've got this really, really strong urge to dye my hair back brown. It's kind of driving me mad, it's got a really strange color, so I'm like, mm -hmm, do I do it? Um, like these are all my colour choices <laughs> and I don't know whether to do it or not or whether to just hang fire. Can you tell where he comes from? Come on Ireland! Okay so earlier after we went to the cafe we also took a little trip to Isabeks. If you don't know who Isabeks is she's like in Rotten Store she's amazing she makes the best like cakes and treats and we got a cornflake rocky road, a Mars brownie, and a cookies and cream cookie pie. <laughs> we also got two cupcakes, which I dropped. This one survived. It's a vanilla and jam cupcake. But this, this was my favorite, or is my favorite. It's a lemon meringue cupcake. Um, I will still eat it. Nothing came out. It just was, yeah, I'll probably just eat it with a spoon. Good morning! I'm so sorry I didn't sign off last night. I'm actually really, really proud of myself. I managed to get so much shit done. I edited um, today's vlog and I got that out of the way quite early in the evening. We watched a good few games of rugby, had a shower, did my skincare, put on a face mask. My skin is starting to finally feel like it's got a bit of moisture. It's starting to finally feel like my skin Skin again. Update on my lips. They've massively gone down um, swelling wise and yeah, I've just got a bit of bruising here and here. So it's now like half past 11. I've been up for like an hour and a half, but I actually haven't done anything, <laughs> which is really bad, but it's Sunday. It's God's day. It is what it is. Um, but Scotland kick off at quarter past two for tea tonight we're having bangers mash in a massive like yorkshire pudding um i really wanted to go for like a sunday lunch um like maybe for a carvery but it's probably not the best to do both of them um and yeah killian's still asleep in bed but yes i'm not really sure what we're planning to do today i was going to be really productive but as per usual the anxiety has taken upon me. I'm really tired, I'm really exhausted, and I'm going into the office tomorrow. Yay. So, yeah, I can't really be bothered um, to be productive. It's rugby time. Oh, come on, Scotland. I hope that you win. Good morning, it's Monday. I've been up for a good while. I even had time for my eyelashes, which I'm really excited about. Um, I'm just coming through spinning fields now because my office is in spinning fields. Should be an okay day. It's gonna be really quiet in the office. None of my friends are in, so just a good day to try and get the week started well and good. Weekly hot chocolate and a bacon body. How can you go wrong in the morning? <laughs> okay, so it's lunchtime. I'm just about to get into the lift. I don't know why my face looks so strange. And um, yeah, we're actually going to go for a Yorkshire pudding wrap. I'm really, really, really excited. We've been lied to. It's not open yet. Meal deal it is. Okay, we're home. The eyelashes have been ripped off. I actually tried this new glue like a few weeks ago and like it's an eyeliner glue and the first time I've used it, it was fantastic. And every time I've used it since, it comes away here, like by me in a corner and it's so annoying. Like, look, I have like, it smudged up on my eye. So I don't know. Hi. We're just through the door. So we're going to sit down, watch a bit of television and then I'm a cook. Okay, so we've tried something new. We've got a fillet of sea bass and some crushed potatoes. 
First time I've ever done them, so I don't know whether they're actually going to be any good. Good morning! It's Tuesday. I'm so sorry I didn't sign off the vlog. All I did last night was watch the end of um, Game of Thrones and we went to sleep fairly early. We've been up ridiculously early yesterday, so... Yeah, um, today, this evening, I'm getting my nails done, so I'm so excited! This is an update on my lips. Most of the swelling has actually gone down, um, which is fantastic. I can still feel a little bit of swelling, but all in all, I think probably give it to Friday and everything will be settled and where it needs to be. Okay, so it's now, like, about... It's about 20 to 1. Um, my nail tech has actually asked me if she can maybe do my nails during my dinner time. Um, so I'm literally just going to set off now, leave, peg it down there. We have, we're on a time crunch before my afternoon meetings. I've also still not eaten. Um, so I think I'm going to just have to pick up like a pasty or something because I'm starving. Okay, we are here. It's literally Lasha Diamond Rain. I'm back, we made a really good time. These are my new nails. I went brown, I was gonna go red, and then I was like brown, autumnal, all G. I managed to actually pick up some lunch, <laughs> and I've got about 10 minutes before I have to finish. So it's by a new kind of like little patisserie um, called Aprilia um, down in Rottenstorf. So I got this cake, I've just opened it. It's called like a Paris breast, I think. Um, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's like pastry with like, I don't know what the fuck in it, but it's, it looks amazing. And I also got this amazing panini, ham and cheese panini. And he like spread a load of garlic on the outside. So I'm going to quickly wolf this down and then I'm going to go into my two o'clock meeting. Side note, I know this is just a panini, but this might actually be the nicest panini I've ever eaten. And I've eaten a lot of paninis. Okay, it's the end of the day. Ooh. I look like a condom. Um, I'm finished with work. I'm a little bit peeved off about some things that have happened towards the end of my day. But it is what it is. Um, I'm still really thinking I might dye my hair. I, I just don't like this weird brownie, blondie, blah, that we have going on. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I... I'm just not feeling like myself and again I think I still thought that like my life would get better and it is getting better really really slowly I'm starting to feel a lot more happiness a lot more joy like in general in my day-to-day -day, but I just know that there's so many things that I'm just not not happy with and I'm not I don't know and I'm trying like really hard and I know that to most people it's like you know, you know, I know what I'm supposed to be doing in order to make myself feel better. And I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm just finding it so difficult. And it's like been a really, really, really long slog from, you know, lying in bed every day, not being able to kind of even really compute anything. And I spent so many days in bed. It's unbelievable. And, you know, for me to be able to be waking up in the morning you know, and getting up and I'm showering more regularly, which I know sounds like such a small thing. Um, having my nails redone after, you know, so long without them. I feel like a man without my eyelash extensions. <sighs> I just feel a bit not like myself. So I don't know. I booked in to get my lashes done at the beginning of next month. And I'm hoping that by getting my lashes done, I might just start to feel a little bit more human um and a little bit better about myself um so yeah i think tonight we're just gonna chill again um i think i can't be bothered to cook so i think we're just gonna have chicken kiev and um some garlic bread um really really healthy day for me it's another thing i need to kind of get going we're on vlog three and i haven't i feel like i've regressed from week one which is not a great feeling um but this is a journey. I'm going to be going back and forth. I'm going to have good days. And especially when this is the beginning of the journey, you know, I can definitely see some massive progression um, in myself. So, yes. Good morning. It's actually Thursday now. I 
apologize i wasn't really feeling myself yesterday i had therapy in the morning because i've moved it from monday to wednesday now and i don't know i i don't know whether it was just talking about everything that's going on you know that kind of thing it just put me in this really weird anxious mood and like I pretty much like I worked from bed all day and it's so rare that I do that and I just wasn't myself. I didn't feel like turning the camera on at all. I just wanted to sit in the darkness doing work, trying to make myself feel better. Um, and then at the end of the day, I was like, you know what, screw it. I can sit and wallow all day and just feel really, really shitty or I can just try it and turn the day around. At the end of the day, I had a shower, I did a face mask. I feel a lot better today. And this morning, we are off to get my flu jab, hopefully my COVID booster jab. And before we start all that, we're gonna go get a cheeky Costa hot chocolate. Okay, we have our Costa coffee, we've got the Christmas cups. And I went for something different. I have a Terry's chocolate orange, hot chocolate which i've never had before but i'm really worried that they've put cinnamon on top of it and if you don't know i sincerely despise everything about cinnamon so i'm really hoping that it isn't cinnamon that they've put on top of it otherwise i'm gonna have to scoop the cream off but now we're off to get our jabs i can confirm no cinnamon i'm home my arm is so sore i don't know why i'm such a baby when it comes to injections and i get my flu jab every year um i wasn't able to get my covid booster i was trying to kind of see if i could get them done on the same day but um they're not doing them at the pharmacy that i went to to get my flu jab so i'm hoping to try and get my covid booster i've had my letter through uh, hopefully i'll be able to get an appointment next week this is like an update on my lips by the way all the swelling has gone down now we are at the one week stage um pretty much all of the swelling i think i've got a tiny bit of swelling still around the edge but most of the swelling has gone. You can't really notice. Um, we've booked in on the 26th and I'm going to be just getting the rest of the 1.1 put in my lips. We might do a little bit of the chin. Um, just to kind of bring my face forward a little bit. And also, as I said, I have this like line in my chin and it's it awful. Um, also, 10 out of 10 on the Terry Chocolate Orange um, Costa Hot Chocolate very very nice we'll be getting that again um enjoyed enjoyed that i think for lunch because killian's working from home today i think we're gonna have the panini from aprilia it was just so good i'm also thinking i'm gonna dye my hair today so i think during dinner i'm gonna pop to the supermarket go and get the hair dye then i'm gonna go to aprilia i'm literally so excited i'm so excited for killian to have this as well and i'm like what patisserie should we get today? So I just realised that last week I never actually showed you about what the lights looked like after I attempted to put the really terrible excuse for curtain. And I... I mean, they might as well just not even be there. I really... Oh, I'm going to have to buy a proper curtain, aren't I? So today we've gone for the pulled pork and cheese again with the garlic. Mm. I also got this gorgeous specimen of patisserie. Okay, it's now the end of the day and I am going to dye my hair. I'm really excited to go back brown. Okay, so I did buy two. I don't know if this is going to be enough to cover my entire head, if I'm honest. I think I've made a terrible mistake. I think I should have got three. Okay, <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I'm trying to get a lot of it off. I put petroleum jelly as well. I've done the bottom section of my hair, the bit that was like blonde. Oh my God, I can't believe how ridiculous I look right now. I've managed to get a lot of shit off of my arms. I just didn't see my face. Oh, this is really... Um, but yeah, so we've done the bottom half. I'm gonna leave this for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna open the second bottle. Um, put that kind of all over my head to kind of just make sure that I've got everything and then I'm going to leave that for another 15 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, I look ridiculous. I've literally got hair dye everywhere. I wore gloves. I don't know how I've got it on my hands. It's on my phone. I look like I've been working down the mines. But we're finished. I'm going to leave this on 15 minutes and then I'm going to wash it off. Okay. 
So we've quickly popped over to my mum and dad's and this is like the living room. Yeah, yeah. This is the new house. So we've got the living room. They're just a couple of few weeks away. They're gonna have to live in a bit of a building side. I've dyed my hair. I'm back to being a brunette. Um, I'm actually really glad I went for this color because I was sat in us and I was like, do I get this one or do I get the slightly like one that says brown slash black? But I thought, you know, it's easier to go darker than it is to go take it away. Do you know what I mean? And I've actually done a good job. Um, I think the colour is pretty even. The lighting in my house is terrible, so I'm going to show you properly tomorrow in daylight. I love it. It always takes me a couple of days to kind of get used to going darker, especially because my tan's kind of faded. Um, I've messaged Jazz and she says I can go back on a sunbed from tomorrow because it's been eight days. So I think I'm going to peg it down there in the morning. I think we're just going to chillax for the rest of the day. I don't think we've got too much planned. I bought some dinner from the butcher so I bought some like chicken things um they're kind of like Kiev's but the butchers have made them so I thought they'd be quite nice with just some mashed potato I think Killian's gonna have some chips and we're just gonna do them in the air fryer and yeah so I think I'll sign off um from here it's been a good day good morning it's Friday I'm in a really good mood today. I don't know whether it's because Killian's going out for a couple of drinks, so it means that I have a little bit of me time this evening. Whether it's my new hair, I really like it actually in the daylight. I think it looks really, really good. I think I've done a pretty good job. So I've done my morning meeting um, and I've actually got some downtime in the next like half an hour. I'm gonna quickly run and get a sunbed um, because my lips are finally healed. They're all good. I've got no swelling. Ooh. That would have been bad, like I'm I'm on the staircase. If I'd have fallen back, we might not be ending this vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna go get some bit. And then I think during my lunch, um, I filmed like the beginning of like my hair. I'm gonna film like the transformation part because I just didn't have time and it was too late last night. I'm gonna get that done during lunch. Hey, it's been a while. I have makeup on. Um, it's a bit crazy. Oh, my hair is all sticking up as well. Um, I finally did some makeup looks. I didn't actually end up filming at dinner. I've ended up filming after work when I finished at five. So it's actually really late now. It's like seven o'clock. So yeah, but I fixed the curtain situation. So yesterday when I was sewing, I actually ended up snapping the needle. So I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? I can't even do anything that I'm supposed to do. I found like these, oh, falling everywhere. I found a box of these in Killian's like tool kit. So I've essentially like gone around and hammered them in. So I started with the blue curtain first and I did it individually. And then I put the black curtain on top of the blue curtain and essentially have just hammered it um, on both sides as well to keep the light out. I just spoke for like a good five minutes and I didn't have the camera recording. So I don't actually need natural lighting in this room because all I do is get ready and like glam and I need studio lights when I'm doing my glam and I don't really care about the natural lighting because I just don't care, I can go to somewhere else. I think it's gonna become a problem if I wanna take fashion photos when I get to that point in my mirror, um, but hopefully by then I will not be cheap skating it and I've just bought some curtains that can open and close. Um, the next issue that I had was that you can see that these are on, but my box lights, which 20 quid from Wish, like no joke, bought them in Spain. I've had them for like two years and they're fantastic. I brought them back with me and they're too bright. So I ended up actually using the light from my laptop with a white like screen and it worked, which is great. So I've finally been able to shoot a couple of videos. I didn't end up actually getting like the hair reveal video because I haven't actually like styled my hair. I wanted to not put any, cause I blow dried it yesterday and I dyed it. I didn't actually want to use heat on it again so soon. So I just did two other makeup videos, but I'm really proud of myself because it's the first time that I've actually sat down and done a makeup video and I'm really happy with both of the looks. I'm really happy with the way my skin looks actually. Um, I'm not sure about this eyes. Rugby's on tomorrow, Ireland versus New Zealand. Come on, pray to Zeus, we win. So yeah, I think we've definitely ended this week on a very, very hot, good positive. Thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope it's not been too boring, um, but I am getting my mojo back. 
as I said last week, this is a journey. I'm going to have good days. I'm going to have bad days. Thank you so much. And I will see you all next week.